What is up, Bubs? This is Eclipse Bat here again with another Wi Fi battle with Crow Bat for the win. This is the second battle we had of the day that before I uploaded the other battle, so let's just get into it. And this battle is less hacky, so don't fucking worry. And I'm also in the opposite of the battle because this is his video actually, but I wanted it because it was such a good battle. And we will promise we, the winners will upload it. So here we go. I go out to my Uxie and I set up the soft rocks. After he switches to the Joey, I switch into my slow roll because he's gonna go for something that slow bro can take, I know for a fact. So the he uses overheat. Slow bro takes that very well. So he goes to his battle goose, which is a fucking star in the sky. He named out the star me, which is a way better nickname than star. And I go for the thunder yeah. wave. <laughs> I go to the thunder wave to uh, cripple him and scald. And so he goes with the rapid spin to take off the star frags, which is a very good play on his part. And right now, I don't want to switch because I don't want to take anything. I thought he was going to switch stairs, so I used the thunder wave. But it's cool with me because he gets power hacks anyway, so he does nothing fishy there. And we're just getting a half bag. I. You called once again because I'm trying to do as much damage as I can. He reveals he has a thunderbolt and that right there fucking invited me to switch and he gets a power hex which is a bitch. So <laughs> I'm fucking screwed already. Uh, so he switches out his uh, whatchamacallit, oh, star me and bring in his Jirachi which is annoying as fuck. I send out my Joey. And he switches back out to trans fat, which is a good play on his part because I'm going for the trick. Um, and he obtains a choice scarf, I obtain a choice scarf, so I you turn out of there even though that's fucking ten H I mean ten HP of damage to go into my slow bro. Slow bro takes the overheat very well once again. A bulky ass fast bro. <laughs> and he switches out into his Stormy again, and I'm just gonna go for the slack off just to regain health, if anything. Since he was gonna switch to his Stormy, which is the only thing that could probably counter him right now. Um, so, he's gonna go for the Surf, and it does nothing to me, so I'm just gonna go for the Scald again. Hopefully, to get the burn, maybe, but I don't get the burn here, which kinda sucks if I had the burn. More damage would have been done to him. And he goes for the Thunderbolt again, and I'm like, ah, oh, fuck, JD5, fuck, fuck, fuck. And that almost kills me, but I stay paralyzed, so I just decided to fucking just kill him off because I really don't need him anymore. Which is fucking me, and that was an unnecessary crit. So, right here, I just send on my Celebi because Celebi can take any type of hit from. Star me and he knows that so he goes into his um, heat trend and I go for the U-turn because it was super effective to get Star me and I go for the Killer Croc which is alright move and I switch to Killer Croc to go into my Thoughty and I make the great prediction because he switches out and goes into his Like a Dog which is a, a Landorus Therian form and I, he does a mistake and doesn't switch out and that was his that right there was a fucking big ass deal because I just killed like one of the main threats of his team. Oh man, and that was good for him. And he goes out to I fly now until I have minus two attack. So I'm just gonna switch out here and go into my Joey. But he uses taunt because he predicted the shell smash, but it's all right. I use Zen headbutt, which is a fine move. It does decent amount of damage. He goes for the dragon dance because. He's going to attempt to sweep right now, and this kind of scared me a little bit because even though they didn't have Moxie, fucking Gyarados still has potential to sweep. A lot of potential. So he goes for another Dragon Dance, and I'm stuck with the Zen Headbutt move, which kind of sucks. And he goes for the Stone Edge, and Joey's such a boss, he lives this with 52 to 55%. He takes so much of a hit, so he got like... 47% left. He goes for another Dragon Dance, so that's plus 3 and plus 3 uh, an attack and speed. I go for the Zen Head, but it doesn't do that much. He gets the lefties, and he goes for the Waterfall for the stab, and this should clearly take out my Joey. So now, 
he has the potential to sweep with a plus three attack and a plus three speed. Gyarados, but he goes for the. I said to my Thoughty, he goes for the Stone Edge, and I get down to my Sash, which is fine with me. And I go for the Rock Blast, and thank God I hit the Rock Blast because this is strong enough to take down the Thoughty. I mean, because the Thoughty. Uh, the Gyarados, and I'm grateful because that thing would have swept if I didn't kill him. So he goes towards the Zor, and he belly pushes the Cloister, and I'm fine with that. That's a sag right there. So I go to my Electro. He bullet punches Electro, and it does, doesn't does do more than half. And I just go for the Thunder, which is cool in my part because uh, he has 15 HP left. So he goes to pray to me. And I'm going to go for the Thunder again, which is awesome because it does a very good, decent amount of damage. Actually, more than half. Because of the critical hit, he does more in HP, and he gets the Power Hacks, which is great for me. But this next move is not great because I actually missed the Thunder, even though the compound eyes, 91%. But it's fine with me. He goes for the Drain Punch to gain a little bit of HP. And I am Choice Spec, so this is very good because I use another Thunder, and Jirachi dies. So that's... Great, he goes to the scissor and bullet punches, and it does take me out. It's fine, it doesn't matter. I sent out my Celebi because Celebi would have taken anything like scissor came, or scissor would have done, which is fine. I use Giga Drain, uh, just to take it out, but he actually switched his Heatron and he goes for the flamethrower. Celebi is such a boss, he lives after. Flamethrower like an absolute beast. I'll go for the recover just to scout what he was gonna do next if anything But I forgot he was scarf, so that was a pretty stupid move. Um, so he's gonna keep going for the flamethrower And that's just gonna eventually take my to be out. I should have went for the pair song instead for the recover Because Sorry for that uh, Sorry for that. Um, let me see I just lost my train of thought. I don't even know. Forget it. Fuck it. He just kills it, and I send out my color croc. He goes for the earthquake, and he is a moxie. He's a choice craft moxie user, so I just remembered all the Pokemon he has can be affected by earthquake, and that I'm grateful for that. So I get plus one. He bullet punches, and this kind of scared me because I thought he was gonna kill it, but he doesn't actually kill it. So I get the an earthquake, and since I am choice scarf, I do outspeed his damn um. Stormy, so yeah, that's good game, Crobat. I won both of those matches. Thank you, Crobat. Uh, we are gonna battle third time soon, you know. So, yeah, you guys, come and subscribe, all that good stuff, and peace out, y'all. Yeah.